Okay guys, welcome back. Uh, in the last video, we learned how to take the basement foundation that you have, get it on paper, right? I did it on the big old whiteboard, but whatever foundation you have, whatever shape, get it drawn out, get the dimensions on, put all the obstacles in, the steps, the furnace, the water heater, all that stuff. Actually, the last video we didn't even put the electric panel in, but I, I drew it in here and I made a mark here while I was off camera. But um, now what we're gonna do, now this is when it starts to get fun. This was kind of a little boring, but it was a necessary evil, all right? Now comes the fun stuff. We're gonna take our wish list we talked about at the end of the last video, and we're gonna try to get this wish list into our drawing and then create that workable floor plan that we can use for building permits and we're going to use to actually follow to build our basement, okay? So, uh, we're going to just start with the list we have here, one through six. We got a theater, a gym, an office, a full bath, a storage area, and a closet. We're going to make those marks on our drawing right now, okay? Now, you, you remember in, in, uh, in the very first video, we talked about the wish list when we first came down here. Uh, and we looked at the confines of the basement. We saw what, uh, what, what we had on our plate, the actual real space. And uh, we talked about the, the wish list of my client. Remember, we're in one of my client's basements right now. And we had to work their wish list, their zones, into this space. I mean, you only got what you got, so you have to make this work. Uh, and we came up with that idea for these zones. So we're gonna go in here and we're gonna put some wall lines in our little drawing here that will uh, show where these spaces are gonna be, where, where these zones are gonna be. Let's start with the home theater. Now the home theater was over here at the bottom of the steps over in this area. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and um, just label this area first, home theater. This is the home theater area. Over on this side, past the two columns, between this column and this column here, over in this open area right here, we thought would be a nice place for a, uh, a home gym, an exercise area. Let's just put gym, okay? Over here in this corner, where all the homeowner stuff currently is, we decided we were gonna make this little corner here the storage area. Everything from this column here back in a storage area and we also talked about the possibility of just extending this storage room out a little bit and then past these pipes right here right back in here and we'll get this furnace inside that storage room so we'll basically kill two birds with one stone we'll pick up storage and we'll hide our furnace away inside there so let's let's do that we, we, we talked about coming across to the column extending past the column and then turning the wall back, putting this furnace inside the storage area. So we're going to put storage here. All right, now we're going to, we're, we're going to take this design and we're going to work this way with it. Let's go, let's go down here to this back corner of the basement, which is back over here. And in this area back here, um, we've got an electrical panel and we've got a, um, a water meter, a main water line coming in in this area as well as another one of the support columns. This area we, we, we decided would be a nice place for the home office. So we're gonna put that on the drawing. We're in this corner, put office. All right. Now, electrical panel, the water meter coming in, and the column. All obstacles. Now I think we're gonna be able to swallow up all those obstacles and hide them away in the office area. What, we're going to, what I'm thinking is, we'll bring a wall off the outside wall right over to the column, swallow up the column in the wall. The electrical panel and the water meter, what I'm thinking is we'll just come straight across with a wall and we'll make a closet here, okay? And since it's like a 10 foot area here, 10 foot eight from the outside wall to the column, we have a 10 foot eight wide office here. What we'll probably do is we'll probably end up putting maybe two closet doors in here, maybe two four foot doors. All right, they would open up like this. This is what you do when you put doors in. You put the swing of the door and you put dotted lines for the way that it's gonna swing. 
okay? Double doors go into a closet. Guess what? We just hid away our electrical panel and our water meter. And from the finished side of the office, looking back at this wall, we're just gonna see two nice double hung doors that are gonna match the other doors in the house. The column will get swallowed up inside the wall because we'll build it right into the wall. And um, we'll come back like this. So there's our office. All right, we kill the electrical panel and the water meter and the column in the office. Back over here, we, we, had the gas, we had the gas manifold. We killed the gas manifold in the storage room and the furnace. So we had so far the furnace, the gas manifold, one of the columns, two of the columns, electrical panel and water meter. All right, you see how we're designing around things and making sense of the floor plan, the zones that we want and we're killing the obstacles as we go. This is the way you have to be thinking, okay? And there's a lot of different ways that we could have done this. This is just one example of how you can go around it and make these zones. All right, so let's walk back over here and look at the, uh, the next area, which is gonna be the, the bathroom, which we determined we didn't wanna be coming out of the bathroom waving a flag. If we got friends and family over in the theater, we don't wanna be coming out during the commercial break. Okay, we, we like the bathroom to be in an out of the way area. It's just good design, okay, it's good flow. So we've got the bathroom over here. And uh, I think what we, what we originally talked about was, or what I'm thinking is, we could have a, a tub shower right here running this way. We could have a toilet beside it. And then we could either have a vanity or a pedestal sink beside that, or we could put the vanity or pedestal sink opposing the, uh, the toilet right across from it, if we have the width. I don't know yet. We're going to find out in a minute here. Okay? And then we also decided that since we had a bathroom and a basement and we needed an up flush system, we talked about the fact that the sewage is going out through the wall four feet up off the floor, means we're going to need a sewage pump. That this unfinished utility area would make a great place to put that sewage grinder pit. All right, now I haven't really talked much about that, but it's a pit that kind of looks similar to the, the pump in the floor. It's in the floor, and it grinds up the sewage from the bathroom and takes it out and pumps it up out to the street. Okay, this would be a great place to put it. It would border the bathroom. Great place to put it. Um, so we're going to go back over to the drawing, and we're going to put in this bathroom the way that we just spoke about it. Put the fixtures in where we, where we said that they would work in here and draw the wall for this unfinished uh, utility storage area right here. So let's go do that. But for now, let's just draw uh, this wall right here. Let's just say we did this, and we can change this, and we did this, just for simplicity's sake for right now. All right, this over here would be utility. This be a utility room. And that's where it remains unfinished, but inside here we'd have the water heater, the sump pump, um, the sewage out to the street, and the radon pipe. So basically what we just did there is we just ate up the rest of our obstacles in one area. All right, and then um, we're going to put a, a tub over here. Um, maybe we'll put a toilet right here. And of course this is out of context here size-wise. I mean, this is just may not be the right sizes of <laughs> what they're actually going to look like because I'm drawing a freehand here on the board, but you get the general idea. Tub with the drain over here, the toilet, and we could have a vanity right across from it here. Okay. The bathroom door then would go in, you know, wherever. I'm just going to put a door going in there for now. So there's our bathroom door. Um, the utility room could be gotten into different ways. It could be a door inside the office that goes in here, takes us in there. Our office door, and I'm just going to erase this dimension line here for a second. Our office door could be coming in right to the center. It could be a French doors coming in, maybe a nice set of French doors with glass in them. Put them swinging into the office. And the reason I like French doors with glass in them is because there's no window in this office and there's daylight out here and that'll send some nice light into the office where it's going to be dark. All right, so uh, we've got our utility room. We've got our bath. 
Back around the corner here, all tucked away, nice, hidden away. We have our office, and we also have our gym, our home theater, and then under the stairs here, we're gonna build a wall right across here, and I'm gonna erase another measurement here just so we can see what we're doing. We'll put a door right here, and underneath the steps, we'll have a closet. Okay, door going in underneath the, uh, the stairs. Okay, so the only thing that we didn't really hide away yet is this column out here in the middle. And what I like to do when I have a column out in the middle is I like to go from either an exterior wall or another interior wall straight across with another wall, but make it a half wall. Okay, that's a half wall. And a half wall is about 36 inches high and it goes between two columns. And what it does is we box out the one column and then we send a half wall between it and another wall and it gives us a nice, a nice wall that says this is the home theater area over here, um, this is the gym over here, but it's still open. All right, we still have a nice big wide open floor plan here. And this is the columns we're talking about. We're gonna box this one out, shoot a half wall across here to this wall, remember this wall comes across and goes around the furnace over there, that's the storage room over there. So we're just gonna come off this storage room wall right across with a half wall into a column that will box out maybe about eight by eight. I make it nice and beefy here, send that half wall into it. Nice, put a pine cap on top, some trim under it. Uh, this wall now can be a, a backer for a sofa right here for this well, this is the home theater area right here. We're, we're in the home theater. Um, and generally, uh, you don't put a TV up against a window wall, and you don't want it down there on the stair wall. So we're going to have a TV probably on this wall. So that half wall that we're talking about right here would make a nice backer for a sofa. Okay, you can put a, put a sofa here, and it'll look real nice. So uh, we just hit away the final obstacle in our road right here by putting the half wall in, okay? So that's pretty much it. Um, now, there are some other things that you could do to this, this drawing. I'm gonna go back over here and take a look at this real quick. I'm gonna go back and draw it. I got some ideas here, I got some thoughts. Some creative juices are happening. You know, I, I would kinda like it if I could get from this office into my bathroom through a separate door. I can enter the bathroom from the regular living space, shut the door, and I can walk right over and open up another door and walk right back into my office. It's always nice if you can have a separate room that has um, another entrance into a full bathroom. It just makes this space over here, this office space, more usable. Um, if we could put an egress window in here, we could turn this into a bedroom. And then this bedroom would, would have uh, its own entrance into a bathroom, which is always nice. If you had, had a guest staying over and they were back here and uh, you know, they wanted to slip in and take a shower, they wouldn't have to go out into the living space if you had other guests out there. So it's just, when you can do it, you should try to do it. So why don't we go ahead and, uh, and put that on our drawing. So we would want to come in about like this. This would come over like that. Um, the bathroom would have to come over this way a little bit further, actually. This door right here would open up in like this from the office into the bathroom, and then there'd be another door over here, which the regular guests out in this area here can enter the bathroom. And um, this would probably go like this. And this would be open space in here because it's not going to be that wide for a, for a tub. But there would be our tub, and we could have a pedestal sink over here, and we could have our toilet over here. Okay, and then from the office we could come in, shut the door, and we could then come right back out this way. That is a workable floor plan right there, and now we've created another uh, entrance into the bathroom from the office. I kind of like that. All right, and if we're out here in our gym and uh, we've got our, our treadmill out here, okay? Um, we're on our treadmill out here. We could be watching the TV over here. We have the TV over here, okay? The gym now has, 
if you want to watch exercise videos or whatnot. It's all open. This whole area out in here, all this out here is wide open. And that's another thing that the homeowners stressed that they wanted. They wanted it not to feel claustrophobic. They didn't want to be in a bunch of little boxes down here. They wanted to keep it as open as possible because the main reason was this window right over here is the only natural light. Now your basement may have more windows than this, okay? So what we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna take this window, <clears throat> we're gonna mark it over here on our drawing because the township's gonna wanna see that because this is our egress exit. And this is the egress. This is the code approved window that you have to have to finish your basement, all right? International Book of Code says you have to have one exit, one egress exit out of your basement. If you have a bedroom, if this was a bedroom back here, you'd have to have another one in this bedroom, separate from this one. All right, those are egress issues. That's it. Now, this is our plan. This is for my client. If this is your basement, or if this is your basement, you know, you're gonna have to decide what you want, okay? I mean, if you wanted to make, if you wanted to wall this off and make this storage, great, and that would work for you. If you wanted to um, make this the office over here, wall this off and put your doors in this way, that may work for you. Um, so you got your storage in your office, come down the steps, come over here. If you wanted to make this a built-in entertainment wall with a, with, a, with, a, with a TV and a stereo cabinet and a, and a bookshelf, and um, if you wanted to uh, make this a half wall from here to here, and a half wall from here to here and leave a big opening in the middle to come over to your home theater. Put your couch in here and a coffee table and you know make this your TV area. This, this might, be your, might be your home theater. Okay, maybe you wanted a game area and, and you put a pool table over here. All right? And you got your big screen over here, your pool table over here, or a couple pool table stools over there and maybe off this wall over here you put a, a little uh, a little wet bar with a sink in it. Serve some drinks. Hop off the couch, go get a drink over here at the bar, play some pool, you know. Whatever your zones are, it all begins with what can I really honestly do? And that falls back to the first drawing that we did when we, when we drew the basement, put the support columns in, and then put all of our utilities in, okay? And then get our measurements on it. Based on all that stuff, we can then take our zones and our wish list and try to make it work, okay? You may not get all your zones in there because you just don't have the space for it. You may, you may have to compromise that way. Or maybe you got all the space in the world, but you don't got enough jing in your back pocket to put in uh, a full bath. And uh, you know, you could, add a, you could add a bar in here. If I added a bar to our drawing based on what we have here, um, got a home theater over here, I could put a wet bar right here right on this wall that I'm drawing the big whiteboard in front of. I could put a bar right here, run the plumbing under the stairs right back over there to our basement sewage ejector pit, and I could have a nice wet bar right here. I could be in my home theater, get up, commercial break, open the fridge down here, grab a cold one, walk back over and sit on my couch over here that's between my, my two poles on my, against my half wall. Okay, just like that, just threw another element in there. I, I wanted to give you enough here in, th in, this, uh, in this video to Get you to take that original drawing we did in the last video, get your zones, and put them in here, okay? And, and come up with your working drawing. I hope this helped you. I hope I gave you enough now that you can actually design your basement and get it to the township, your city, municipality, to pull your permits. If, I, if I've given you that, if you've accomplished that after watching these videos, I, I did my job. That's really what I wanted to do. So uh, good luck with that. I do have another video coming your way here tomorrow. I'll uh, be looking for that in your inbox, and I will talk to you tomorrow. Got some more good stuff for you tomorrow.